Smoothing mode in Polybrush is used to smooth out mesh details, just like so, and can be activated or deactivated via the smoothing icon in the upper left of the toolbar. You can tell that it is active by the blue underline and the highlight on the button. Also, once in smoothing mode, you'll have access to these smooth settings. There's just two items here. Number one, ignore open edges, which as we showed in the sculpting tutorial, will determine whether or not to completely ignore any open edges. This is especially useful if you have edges on an object that you don't want to be moved. The only other option below ignore open edges is the direction. So this is going to choose what direction to push or smooth the vertices in. The best option is generally vertex normal. You can also try brush normal or any of the other options. We recommend playing around with this and seeing what works in certain cases. For example, if I use just the up mode, now it's only going to smooth upwards, which can be useful for creating a flat plane. Here you can see I'm flattening out this area because it's only smoothing in the upward global direction. And I can do the same using the right direction, which is working on the global x-axis. So this can be very useful for quickly smoothing out flattened areas. And if I move that back to the vertex normal option, again, generally standard method, it's just going to smooth it all out very nicely and remove any harsh edges. As with all the modes, the brush settings will modify how the brush is applied, and I can quickly use the control plus scroll wheel to zoom the radius up and down, control plus shift to change the strength of the effect, and just shift to change the inner radius or fall off area. To learn more about the brush settings, you should definitely watch the brush settings tutorial, which goes over every bit of that. Also similar to other modes, you can use the brush mirroring options. For example, turning on the X, I can now work in symmetry on the X axis, and I can even turn on multiple axes. As with the brush settings, we recommend you check out the specific tutorial for brush mirroring if you'd like to learn more about that. So that's it for the smoothing tool in Polybrush. Obviously, it's one of the simpler tool modes, but it has a lot of great uses. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in each of the other tutorials.